Hi, my name is Alex. I'm the master distiller here at the Teeling Whiskey Company, and uh, I'm going to take you through a bit of the process of how I make whiskey uh, here. We start off with uh, what I have here in my hand, which is malted barley and unmalted barley or spring barley, and we mill that into a mash. Ireland, yeah, uniquely, and uh, Dublin historically would have had a very uh, interesting place in the whiskey world with the use of malted and unmalted barley to make pot still whiskey. The difference is malted barley has gone through the malting process where they've steeped it in water and germinated the seed. The unmalted barley is straight from the field and that gives you a, a difference in the process and a difference in the flavor of the whiskey at the end. This is the first step in our process here at the Teeling Whiskey Company, it's the mill. And what happens here is we have barley fed in from the top of the mill, that's mixed with water, and that falls down through the steeping chamber and past the rollers here, which then crush the barley, and that water again gets mixed with it, and what you're producing is basically a porridge. Now, brewers and distillers being unique individuals, we can't just call it a porridge, we have to have a special name for it, so we call it mash. So we've collected our sweet wort and we've now gone into the washback with it. And what happens in the washback is fermentation. We add yeast. Yeast is a monocellular organism. It's actually closely related to the mushroom, believe it or not. And what those little yeast cells do is they eat the sugar and produce carbon dioxide and alcohol. It's the alcohol that we're interested in. So now that we've created our 8% wash, we're going to distill it. This is what is uh, unique to Irish whiskey, is the, the triple distilling process. We have three stills here that were uh, handmade in Siena, Italy by uh, Frilly. And there are 15,000 liters, 10,000 liters, and 9,000 liters in size. And what happens in the still is the wash is heated up and the alcohol boils at a lower temperature than water. That alcohol strength rises up the neck and the vapor eventually comes over the top into the condenser in the back where it's condensed back down into a liquid. So as that process happens, the alcohol goes up in strength and so we start out in the wash still at about 8% alcohol and we ended up about 24% alcohol in the low wines. That then is transferred to the middle still, and again that process of boiling the alcohol and the alcohol vapor going up the neck takes place, and we get it up to about 55% in the middle still. And the spirit still, finally for the third and triple distil distillation process, we get our spirit off at about 80-82% alcohol. What we have here is spirit coming off the still at about 80% alcohol. Uh, this would be new make whiskey. It's also sold as Puchin. Uh, Puchin would have been traditionally an uh, illicit spirit because of the fact that the Puchin maker wouldn't pay the tax on it. Although today in Ireland there's a growing industry of people making Puchin and paying the tax. So it is a legal product that's growing in popularity. Yeah, the cereal comes through. That, I think that's a bit amazing that you start out with barley and you mash it and ferment it and run it through three stills and you get it up to 80% alcohol and that sweet cereal note is still there. It's light, it's fruity, and even at 80% alcohol, it's, it's very approachable, it's very drinkable. And that is really the, the key, in my mind, of making Irish whiskey.
So after we have our new make spirits, we then fill it at the casks. This is where the whiskey goes to sleep, essentially. Uh, we put it in a warehouse. Warehouses typically are a dark, cool place where the whiskey by law must sit for three years and mature. And what happens in the cask is the whiskey gets its color, the whiskey starts to develop the more subtle flavors and it develops the spicy vanilla notes that people uh, associate with matured whiskey. And that's how we make Irish whiskey. Cheers.